using senility on a new level. It's the BMW i4. The true BMW with sporty looks, best-in-class driving dynamics, zero local emissions. The BMW Group is a pioneer when it comes to sustainability in the supply chain. And this also applies to our e-mobility flagship, the BMW iX. Let me give you some examples. First, around half of the aluminium we use at our plant in Landshut is produced in Dubai using the power of the desert sun. Green electricity accounts for more than 50% of our CO2 targets in the supplier network. Second, we pay a lot of attention to critical raw materials. We build direct links to sub-suppliers and buy the cobalt and the lithium for our battery cells ourselves. We are the first and the only ones to do so. This ensures that the raw materials are mined in an environmentally and socially sustainable way. In third, we already use an average of 20% of recycled plastics in the BMW iX. We safeguard critical raw materials by using them many times in our circular economy. We work closely together with our supplier network and develop solutions to achieve our ambitious sustainability goals and to ensure the high volume growth of e-vehicles. And now, here it, here it is, live. This is the very first time that we are showing the BMW i4 Openly, Peter Nota said it, the fully electric i4 comes right from the heart of BMW. Many customers have been eagerly waiting for it. And this is a clear sign that the markets are ready now for electromobility. And that made releasing this Grand Coupe three months earlier than planned an easy decision for us. At major tipping points, BMW has often ushered in change with bold decisions. Our entire product lineup at BMW Mini and Rolls-Royce is based on technological innovations. It meets our customers' different needs in different markets worldwide. And that is exactly where our strength lies in the current phase of our transformation. We are electrifying BMW and we're picking up the pace of electromobility. And here is our roadmap for 2021, 2023, and 2025. Through our technology offensive, we have prepared ourselves with the necessary depth and precision. This year, our XEV sales are expected to grow by more than 75% compared to last year. The percentage of fully electric vehicles will continue to grow and is expected to more than double compared to 2020. By the end of this year, we aim to have delivered more than 1 million electrified vehicles to customers since 2013. 2023 will be a key year for us in e-mobility, with 13 fully electric models on the roads. Positioning our BEFs in the high volume segments will enable us to ramp up quickly and achieve swift market penetration with BEFs. To this end, we have empowered our structures in recent years. 
Others focus on individual market segments and niches. We, on the other hand, are taking a targeted approach across all market segments. By 2023 already, we will have at least one fully electric model on the roads in all key segments, from the compact car segment to the ultra-luxury class. This means, by the end of phase two of our transformation, we will have fully electric models for all our major series, covering about 90% of our segments. With an eye towards regulations, we could even serve certain segments exclusively with fully electric models. The most important aspect is always ensuring an optimal balance between the product offering and profitability. And I want to make it quite clear, if demand in certain markets shifts entirely to fully electric vehicles within the next few years, then we'll be able to deliver. By the end of 2025, we will have delivered a total of around 2 million fully electric vehicles to customers. We will also be growing our sales of fully electric models by well over 50% per year over the next few years, more than 10 times the figure for 2020. We have been focused on this growth and have prepared for it extremely systematically so we can adapt flexibly to market developments at any time. Mini will be the first BMW Group brand to go fully electric and Mini is predestined for the city and thus for e-mobility. In 2025, we will be releasing the last model with, e, with a combustion engine variant. By the early 2030s, Mini will be exclusively fully electric. You can also expect to see fully electric products from Rolls-Royce as well. As an industry, we will only be able to meet current and future mobility needs with an open technology approach for all, and I'm really stressing this, for all drivetrain forms. This includes e-fuels as well as hydrogen, which will be an alternative worldwide, let's face it. Next year, we will be releasing a small series of BMW i Hydrogen Next. We could also imagine it as a production vehicle. That is why we are supporting the creation of the necessary infrastructure in Germany. Our production network is swiftly and efficiently integrating electrification into our existing plant structure. With our intelligent vehicle architectures, we are in an optimal position to industrialize and then to scale manufacturing using a single production structure with maximum flexibility and exchangeability. Because in this way, we can tap the full potential of differentiated, still differentiated demand around the world. And BMW is global. We are present in more than 140 markets worldwide. And ladies and gentlemen, it is not realistic that the same technologies will prevail equally in every country at the same time. And that is why it does not make economic sense to pull certain offerings from markets which still enjoy demand, for example, because the necessary infrastructure for certain technologies is not available. Here, the BMW X3 will now be followed by the high-volume BMW 7 Series X1 and 5 Series models, as well as the Mini Countryman. This is technology openness par excellence. By 2022, each of our four German vehicle plants will be producing at least one fully electric vehicle. Technological leadership and outstanding flexibility are core assets for a fast transformation. Our expertise in integrating new technologies and products into our production system is unique worldwide. By the end of this year, our global production network will be enabled to produce more than 20 electrified models. Right here in Dingolfi, the production of the iX will start this summer. At the BMW Group, we are covering the entire value chain, including cell development, the manufacturing of high-voltage batteries, 
and the production of electric powertrains. And we will continue to take momentous steps forward. Through technological innovation and digitalization, we are setting new benchmarks in terms of efficiency and sustainability. This leads into a new era of automobile production, the next level of our BMW production system. Innovative, intelligent, and of course, inspiring. And we all know Ilka, inspiration comes from people. Exactly, Milan. Our associates are the very heart of BMW. Their creativity, passion, and high-level performance drive us forward every day. It's our associates who are creating a more sustainable, connected and safe mobility. That's why we will keep investing in our future. We are hiring 4,000 employees this year, as we did last year. It's our associates who are making the BMW Group ready for the future. That's why we are making them ready for the future with the biggest qualification offensive in our company's history. This year, we plan to train 75,000 participants in Germany for our future challenges, from e-mobility to data and analytics. It's our associates who are our greatest asset. That's why we at Global HR empower our associates to make an impact, to grow personally at an attractive and safe work environment. To work at BMW is to create a better future. We are ready.